Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hima Education Made Easy. In uh, the previous video, we have completed the basic uh, Python. So with those uh, knowledge, uh, you can start to code anything. So here we'll be going with uh, one more thing that is called a separate module in v, uh, in Python, where uh, it is called Math Lot Library. Okay. So here we need to know what is a uh, matplot library first, right? So here we need to know. Uh, here it is an uh, low-level graph plotting library in Python that serves as visualization utility, and it was created by John B. Hunter. So the creator is John. Sorry, capped. John D. Hunter. He created this uh, matplot library where uh, it is an uh, open source and we can use it uh, freely. Matplot library is uh, usually written in uh, Python. So here, uh, written in Python. And also C, some parts. And objective C. Objective C also we can write it and some part can be written in JavaScript also. Java script. Okay. So this is about uh, matplot library. How to install this matplot library we will see now. Also here we will be going to uh, go with uh, command prompt cmd. And here in this I am going to uh, write pip that is a uh, uh, program installer for Python PIP. Okay, so PIP followed by install M A T mat plot library. So here it is mathematical plotting library. So it is a basic uh, uh, plotting uh, module. Okay, so here once if we enter it, so already I have installed this uh, matplot library. So it shows that uh, system is already satisfied with the requirement like that it will show if you are not installed this matplot library it will uh, get installed okay so here it's getting installed it's getting updated okay uh, previous version it's getting uploaded like this uh, this matplot library will get installed installing collected packages like this uh, installing front tools and then uh, uh, QO solvers and then it will say that uh, installing collection packages. These are the packages which it has been collected and then it will uh, start uh, to install. It will take a bit amount of time and then uh, we'll see also how to uh, in how to install uh, matplot library in this uh, PyCharm also. Okay, so here you are using already pip version. However, version 2.3 is available. If you want to upgrade it you need to uh, go with this command python.exe pip install so from here you can go uh, minus m pip install upgrade pip command you can use it okay so as i am having a older version i am okay with it so i am going with exit and then here how to install this uh, matplot library so for that purpose you need to uh, press three keys at a time that is control alt and as well as S. So it is a shortcut for uh, settings. Once you press these three keys, you will be uh, directed to Python interpreter where you will be uh, able to add n number of modules. Any number of module, uh, whichever is available in Python, you can uh, add it by just uh, clicking the plus symbol, which will show us install. Or you can uh, use alt plus insert symbol also. Okay will be finding a alt key and as well as insert key in your keyboard you can uh, use it for shortcut so here i'm going to take this one so here um, in this uh, you can uh, search for matplot library so here it is already in blue color which means it's already installed so here i want if you want to install you just uh, need to click it on install package so here it will show us installing in brackets Okay, so here uh, for every month or uh, once in a week, you will be getting some sort of update uh, so that it will say that it will take any time you go with installation process. 
or uh, through command prompt you need to uh, install uh, the upgraded versions okay once uh, it is installed successfully you can close this window and then uh, you click on okay so that you will be going with this so in order to use this matplot library you need to import this matplot module okay so in order to do that simply i'll be using the command called import mat plot library okay so it won't get highlighted until and unless you use this matplot version okay so mat, not matplot version until and unless you use some commands using this uh, matplot library so here we'll just give uh, a small print statement in which i want to have matplot library dot uh, double underscore version double underscore okay so here if you want to see the version of this thing you can uh, go with this and uh, you can if you run it you will be able to see which version uh, you are going to use this matplot library you will be able to see it in uh, this uh, over here so it is 3.5.1 version okay and then uh, we will be using pipe plots in this uh, matplot library so most of the matplot library utilities lies under pipe plot uh, sub module and pipe plot is a sub module of this uh, matplot library and are usually uh, important under uh, plt alias okay so here uh, every time calling this matplot library is a um, difficult task so here uh, what we'll do is matplot library dot pipe plot as we want to call matplot uh, matplot library dot pipe plot as plt simply so whatever the name you are familiar with uh, you can use uh, those things okay so once you have done it so here now we have imported it and then uh, here we also want to import a numpy so as we are using uh, arrays over here uh, in this example so here we are going to draw a line uh, from position 0, 0 to position uh, 6, comma, uh, 250. So here uh, we are going to take some sort of example, okay, which is uh, drawing a line um, from 0, comma, 0 to a position where uh, we are going to have uh, sorry six comma two fifty so in x and y directions i'm going to take uh, these points so in order to do that i'm going to use x point as a uh, numpy dot array so before doing that np dot uh, array I need to import this uh, numpy also, right? So zero comma six. It's showing error over here. That's because uh, we didn't import it at numpy. So here, import numpy as np, so that uh, you'll be able to see that a red line has been disappeared. Now I'm going to take y point. Y point is equal to np dot array of uh, in which it has to be from zero comma two six comma two fifty uh, right yeah which point we have taken uh, six comma two fifty okay uh, x points array we have taken y points array we are going to take it uh, like right so here x is from zero to six and y is from two zero to two fifty in these uh, ranges uh, i want to draw a plot so in order to do that instead of calling uh, matplot library dot pi plots i'm going to use plt dot plot command okay plot of x uh, point comma y point and then uh, i'm going in order to uh, see the plots we need to go with plot plt dot show of self okay 
so here if i run it i'll be able to see a graph uh, which is drawn from 0 to 6 on x axis and y axis it will take from 0 to 250 okay so here this is the graph which we have got for this pie plot okay so here from 0 0.2 we have taken it from 6 to 250 okay so first point is 0 comma 0 and second point is 6 comma 250 this is how we are going to use this uh, math plot library and uh, here uh, we are having um, these things right uh, here using this we can be able to draw only simple uh, lines okay so here if you want to draw only uh, one position that is uh, if you only at one position like uh, here on here this point i want to identify and as well as here this point i want to identify so in order to do that uh, i just need to give a comma and in quotations i want to go with o okay so here upon uh, running this what i'll be able to see we'll see now okay so here you'll be able to see only two points so here uh, if which in whichever the type you want to have you can uh, take that type of symbol okay now we will be able to see a star over here this is what uh, the main difference is uh, in order to identify points you will be able to use those things and you can use multiple uh, points in order to draw a line okay you can plot as many points as you like uh, just to make sure you have the same number of points in both x axis and y axis if not it won't consider it okay so for that purpose uh, here uh, i want to have some points on x y and z so here i'm going to take on x axis uh, 10 i'm going to take and then i'm going to take 4 so on y axis already i have taken 250 next point i'm going to take 600 and the next point i'm going to take 300 so i want to uh, have uh, this plot how it will show me well see now so here this is how the uh, the points are first point 00 second point here you can see if we take it uh, as idea yeah. first point 0 comma 0 second point 6 comma 250 so here you will be having 6 comma 250 and third point 10 comma 600 and fourth point here four uh, comma 300. So here what happens if we uh, remove this uh, star or uh, the type of uh, graph you want? So here by using lines, how we'll be able to uh, see that also we'll be able to try uh, once. Okay. This is how uh, the points will go zero first, and then it will go to six, and then it will go to this one. because here we have taken first zero then six then taken 10 then again it has uh, returned to four this is how this uh, graph will works and then uh, we can go with one more thing that is uh, default x points uh, if we do not specify any uh, uh, the points on x axis then uh, it will automatically take the values of x as 0 1 2 3 that is depending on the number of uh, y points it will take uh, a series of numbers so here now we'll try some sort of example so here uh, what happens if we remove this uh, x and here also as we haven't defined the x we need to delete this one too so we need to uh, show only uh, the plot of how this plot will be looking like so this is how it will take first point second point third point and finally the fourth point this is how it will get split so it will take automatically the band width of x axis automatically okay and then uh, what are markers so here we will be able to see markers you can use the keyword argument called marker to emphasize each point with a specified marker okay so here on this uh, at each point i want to see uh, where each point is located in this particular line if uh, it is a straight line formed by uh, 
three points then you won't be able to identify where those points are so in order to identify those points in the session itself uh, you need to use a keyword called marker is equal to in quotation whichever the pattern you want you can put it so here any symbol numbers or whatever you want so here i'm going to go with at the rate okay and then uh, if i run it i'll be able to see at the rate at each uh, point okay i recognize the marker style okay so some things might not be accepted i think so so here i'm going to give star again and then uh, i'm going to run it so that i'll be able to see where each point is located okay this is how uh, we'll be able to use this uh, marker and then here uh, markets can accept what are all the symbols will be seen now okay so here i'll write a comment after this um, thing so here you can use uh, o as marker star as marker and dot as marker and then comma also as a marker and x also a marker x uh, capital x then uh, plus also you can uh, use okay so here now we'll uh, remove this one and we'll take a plus whether it will give us output or not we'll be seeing now okay uh, so all alphabetical numbers which are from uh, which are uh, capital and small can be taken for this uh, marking this thing okay and then uh, we can go with something called a uh, format string so here uh, fmt uh, so you can also use a uh, shortcut string notation parameters to specify the marker this parameter is also called fmt format in short we'll be calling it as fmt okay and is uh, written with the syntax of for mark line marker line and color okay so here uh, i want to go with uh, something uh, in so in uh, so marker i'm going to use o and it has to be in red uh, red color this is what uh, i want to see so you can change the lines and pattern uh, line pattern too okay so here you will be able to see that this is how this one will be okay and then uh, we can use a dash also something called this one minus symbol you can say it as so this is how okay and if you want to change the color to blue then you can use b okay so here you can uh, use some sorts of colors like uh, red with the r g with the green b with the blue c with crayon m with uh, magnet and y with the yellow k with the black and uh, w with white so you need to remember only one thing that is in order to have a, a black line you need to use k as color syntax okay color syntax and Color uh, color syntax can define the color, okay? And you can uh, go with the marker size also. Uh, so here uh, the marker which I have used in previously is of a small size. So here if I want to use a bigger one, then uh, I need to have marker is equal to uh, in quotations I want to take star initially, and then a marker size I want to define. In order to define marker size, you need to give keyword ms is equal to 20 okay so size we are going to increase to 20 okay uh, so that the stars will get bigger in size so here this size we will be able to understand once you start to practice those things and the colors already we have uh, seen uh, so here if you want to specify a uh, circumscribed color so marker you can use the keyword argument uh, that is marker edge color okay so here if i want to uh, 
uh, round up these things with another different color then uh, we need to use uh, after uh, ms we need to use something called mec that is called marker edge color okay marker edge color also you can give it as now i would already i have taken it in some color right so now i'll be going with uh, r red color surroundings have to be of a uh, red color so here if i run it i'll be able to see stars are uh, uh, edge uh, given with an edge color of red okay this is how uh, these things will work and then uh, what else uh, as it is becoming lengthy uh, we'll continue the uh, continuation part of this in our next session with this uh, i'll be winding up the video if you like the video please do like share and subscribe thank you